back everyone to road to gm and i'm telling you we don't got a live game today but still stay tuned because these are two beautiful games i played last night and we're back at 1900 so without further ado let's get into this video man enough wasting y'all time like comment subscribe and let's go i play e4 my opponent plays the carl khan man you already know what it is motherfucker starts playing the carl khan and get him out of here we ain't trying to see none of that i take the full center we play the advanced, now we just develop. I don't really know how to play against the Carl, so I just develop. I need to study more openings, folks, but besides the point, we're going we gonna to do that eventually. My opponent plays c5, and all this stuff is familiar. I develop my knight out, he develops his knight out, and now I play bishop to e3, just overloading protection. He takes, and I take back with the knight, now he develops his knight. And I'd step my queen up because I'm like, you know what? You know what? You know what, bucko? I'm castling long. I'm castling long. And then I'm like, damn, did I just hang a pawn? Yes, I did just hang a pawn. It don't matter, though. Because this is all part of my plan of attack. Castle long. Give up pawns so we can, you know, get some open lines. Even though there are no open lines right now, it'll happen eventually. My opponent jumps his knight back. And now I chop this bishop not the best move but you know not the worst move he takes back and now i develop my bishop out he wants to trade i'm like uh -uh. Uh -uh. no trade so i'm like let me hit the queen let me try to induce a weakness he drops the bishop back and now i'm like mm, let me drop my bishop back again now he castles and h4 giving up another pawn y'all this is how I like to play. I like to give up the pawns for the open files. For the open files. Did I know that this pawn was hanging when I moved it? Let's see how fast it took me to move that pawn. Four seconds. Y'all, you know what? I'm not going to confirm and I'm not going to deny it. But we gave up another pawn. He strikes back in the center. And now we jump our knight into the center. He locks out my bishop. And now I jump my bishop back. Defending this pawn. He can still take it. But also if he takes here... I take back like this, and I have an open F, F file. He wants a queen trade. He wants a queen trade. We got to go for the queen trade, though. Because after he takes my queen back, I can win a pawn. I can win a pawn, folks. He centralizes his rook. But, 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 I can play bishop to g4. Pinning skewering it but pinning the knight to the rook see okay drop down in the comments what's the difference between a skewer and a and a pin let me know because i be i be mixing up the terminologies every now and then i'm still new to chess folks he plays g6 but now he has dark score weaknesses and now i'm debating do i strike in the center or do i just take another pawn because that's just a free pawn because if you take i take the rook and he goes for it. He takes my bishop one. I take his rook. Now if he takes my bishop, I take his knight. He tries to get sneaky. Plays knight in check. And if I step out the way, he'll get another piece. So we step closer. We step closer with the king. Big stepper. The big stepper is activated. And now it's time to get spunky. He takes the bishop one. I take the knight. He takes a pawn. Let's trade rooks. Let's trade rooks, big fella. I'm up in exchange. He don't want that. He's attacking my knight. So I drop it back. Best move? Okay, f3 just defending it. And I hang a pawn. But we realize that, and we're like, you know what? Let's get the rook in on the back rank. Let's get the rook in on the back rank and really get activated in this motherfucker. He drops the bishop back, putting extra pressure here. And I'm like, ooh, what do I do here? King d3. Once again, big stepper is activated. Chop, chop, chop. Big stepper. Now we after the, the rook. We can't take it just yet. But we're defending this knight. He drops the rook back. And now we bring our other rook in. You know, looking at some checks. He pushes this pawn. And we, we slide the rook into the back rank. Um, we put the rook on the eighth rank. He steps up with his king. Now we jump our knight into the business. Knight is activated. All the pieces are activated. He takes another pawn. And look at this. Rook's on the 7th. We gave that pawn up. 
we gave that pawn up because we knew that relinquishes defense of this square. And I got two rooks ready to feast, and you cannot defend. You cannot defend. So now he jumps the knight in. And I'm like, ooh, okay. First, let's take this pawn with check. But he is threatening so much shit. He steps the king back. I don't have any checks because the bishop covers. I don't have any checks because the bishop covers. Don't have any of these checks because if I give this check with the rook, he takes this rook. If I give this check, he takes this rook. So what do we do here? What else is he threatening, folks? That's what else we need to look at. We can't play any checks. They're not good. He ha He's threatening big fork on my dome piece. That's what he's threatening right here, folks. And I can't just slide my rook over here because he'll still play rook knight here. Check. Bishop covers that square. So I'm like, oh my God, what do I do here? What is the move? Then it dawned on me. Don't move any pieces. Your pieces are exactly where they need to be. Limit his pieces. F4. Restrict the square. Restrict the square, big fella. Now what are you going to do? Because I got the position on lock. My opponent plays B5. And now I'm like, okay, do I drop the, the rook here? Threaten mate? Let's, let's, let's threaten mate. Let's threaten mate two ways. We don't want to take this pawn just yet, even though we should have. But it's still liable to get taken. My opponent blunders M1. Bishop A3. Thinking, oh, if rook check, I'm going to block. But guess what? This rook defends from that square, and all I got to play is rook D8 checkmate on yo. Dome piece, you feel me? And here he resigned. Here he resigned. And that's game one. Like I told you, we got two good games. So stick around for game two, motherfuckers. Come on. Come on. 1900. Again. Again. 1900. 1900. You see, we're back, man. I told you we're going to be back last episode. And we're back. This game has a crazy twist. This game has a Hail Mary th go deep. One hand reach back like OBJ. Touchdown. Let's do it. I play E4. My opponent plays e5. Now I develop my knight out. He develops his knight out, and we go into the scotchy scotch. Take, take. He gets ready to fee and keto. I develop my bishop. Develop my knight. He develops his knight. I develop my queen castle. And I play f3, getting ready to start propelling these motherfuckers forward. Now we castle. He strikes a pawn down. I play king b1. He pushes again, and I should have played a3 here. I don't know why I didn't. I play g4, and he pushes forward. I play b3. So I got this this permanent thorn here, and this could have been my downfall. This could have been my downfall. He d jumps his knight in. I got to play bishop to e2 just to defend up everything. If he jumps in here, well, he can't two times, but that's okay. He lunges forward. I got to jump my knight into the to b5 only square. Now he pushes again. And instead, I can take this pawn, but I'm also like, you know what? That's a free pawn. I'm going to take this pawn. I'm going to take this pawn. Threatening this, the bishop. He takes. I take back with the C pawn. So now we're opened up to liabilities over here. But we're going to take this bishop. He steps the queen up, and now we take this bishop. Probably not the best move. What was the best move? Mm, jumping this knight in. Defending. Okay, I see the vision. Instead, I just top the bishop. He takes back with the rook, and now I jump this knight in. I'm going to move too late. I'm going to move too late. He steps up, and now I have a fork. But the best move isn't even to play the fork. It's to play rook to f1. That's crazy, isn't it, folks? Not even taking the fork, but me as a human being, I'm going to take the fork 10 times out of 10. He slides over, and now I take the rook. And now he takes back. And here is where things start to get choppy. I got three points of advantage, and I have to play g5. Hitting the queen. Queen 5, bishop g5, doing something. Instead, I lose all my advantage trying to just trade off one of these dark this dark square bishop because it's too strong. One, he can just play bishop back. So it's not even a good move. I, I wonder how long did... I spent six seconds on that move, and it was not a good move. I should have calculated because I overlooked this move. Knight takes f3. Hitting my queen. Threatening checkmate twice. And I, I, I can't stop it. I literally can't stop it. So I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. What did I do? Why, how did I just lose this game? How did I just lose this game? And this is where... Here we go! Shout, not even shout out Dak Prescott because go Seattle Seahawks. You feel me? 
but we had to throw a Hail Mary. We had to throw a Hail Mary. Don't play Hope Chess, but here I played a little bit of Hope Chess. Queen D8 check. Queen D8 check, only, only solid move. Top engine move, by the way. Now he has two moves. He can take with the rook, or he can block with the bishop. Now my question is, what do you think he does? Well, obviously he blocks with the bishop, right? Hail Mary, the prayers have been answered. We take the rook check, and here he resigns because after bishop block, only move here. And the reason he should have done bishop block, the reason he should have done bishop block is because I can't take the rook because of one, the knight guards. I have to take the bishop. Rook takes. I can't take either of these pieces because this pawn that I let in all that time ago is just holding shit down. And he got mate, so I have to bring the bishop back. And I'm just down a queen for a rook. I'm down a queen for a rook. Simple as that. But that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, man. That's just how it goes sometimes. You feel me? You feel me? So that's the motherfucking game for today. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. If you made it all the way to the end, send some clapping emojis. And I love you, motherfuckers. Catch you on the next one. Deuces.